Hello everybody and welcome back to another spoiler review with me a Border Prince. Today we're talking about The Art of Provocation by Josh Reynolds which is a, a nice little short story about Lucas, the baddest space marine in the universe. There's not much of a story. <laughs> yeah. So basically Lucas gets deployed to take out a, like a satellite relay station on a planet that's being attacked by the space wolves because it's been invaded by the orcs. Yeah, it's basically just his inner monologue. It's hilarious. <laughs> and the things he says, like he walks in on this room and there's three orcs there and they look up at him like, oh, where's he come from? <laughs> and nothing happens and he's staring at them. And then the one lifts his axe up and runs at him. He goes, oh, decisive. I like that. And then shoots his face off, blows his head off, and the and the corpse carries on running and just run, and he sort of sidesteps it. Great yeah. when you listen to uh, to his interactions with the the Wolf Lord who he's been assigned to. Again, it's carrying on the whole thing of you know he's he's there to be. Well, he's he's strife, you know. He's he's there to to poke them and their pride, and that's what he does in this. It's really good, and the Wolf Lord's kicking off. So what? Because <laughs> he's not doing what he was supposed to do, which was just disable the thing, and then he would have to wait there for someone to pick him up after the battle. So it was a clever way of getting him out of the way. What he actually does work is getting onto the radio networks and starts insulting the orcs gradually, because you know provocation is an art. So you know he gets some individual orc units or war bosses and stuff like this, and. Speaks some words to him. You know, he knows a bit of orcish. He knows how to throw a few insults, some childish insults. And then he uh, goes bigger and bigger. And eventually, the orcs start kicking off with each other because he's obviously saying stuff about, you know, this boss is an idiot or this boss is an arsehole. And so-and-so says this boss is an idiot. <laughs> and, it, and it causes the orcs to rip each other, start ripping each other apart. And the Wolf Lord isn't happy. He stole his glory from him. So there's no war now. Oh, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. You need to get it. Uh, it's part of a uh, a free a free story set. I got it on bloody Audible. Uh, Champions of the Eternal War, and there's a story on there about uh, Lucius, which is nice. I've I read it though before, so it wasn't exactly like new to me. But it's pretty good, and Lucius is going up against a uh, a, uh, a a Nurgle demon on his ship. And it, it made it reminded me that the, the Lucius novel exists, and I, I'm gutted that there isn't a new one coming out for that. Again, I want, I want Lucius, I want Lucas, and I want Fabius. These are my three favourite characters recently. And uh, there's another story on there which was okay uh, with the Iron Hands. It's okay. What is it? The Calculus of Battle. It was all right. I mean, it's just when you've got these kind of awesome characters with like flavour to them, and you go to like a space marine and it's it's an iron one an iron hand as well and it's like ugh you know what I mean? <laughs> like you know it's probably a good reason that ferris died early on you know probably a good idea but that's yeah that's that's what it that's what's in there um the lucas one is the highlight the lucius one if you've never read it before it is good and there's the the calculus of battle one which is okay and that's basically just um them i like what they've done with that in terms of calculating it's like they're, they're making a calculation on how long they should fight and hold back Tyranid Horde to enable them to withdraw more troops from the surface. Because this planet's going to die. Uh, the Tyranids are there. But it's a case of, can we get a couple of hundred thousand extra Imperial Guardsmen off this planet before the whole thing's consumed? And it's the conversation he's having with his tech priests. And I like what he's doing. He's obviously shown that the Iron Hands and the tech priests are a lot more... They work more closely together than other Space Marine chapters would. Uh, so you you see that you see that bond that's there. So it's a good little tale. It's just not as fun as the Lucas one. The Lucas one's just great. And again, it just shows Josh Reynolds doing the funniest, the funniest dialogue. It's brilliant, absolutely fantastic. Oh, he also talks about. Um, he also insults the Wolf Lord and says, "Do you remember your sister?" or something like this. And it was like, <laughs> and then he just goes into like a little, a little monologue in his mind, going, "I probably did know his sister." I had quite, you know, I had quite a time on Fenris before uh, before I became a space marine. <laughs> I had many beds, so I probably did know her. Yeah, <laughs> it's good stuff, man. And if you've never read the Lucas novel, you need to get that. Lucas the Trickster is uh, was a real treat. I wasn't expecting it to be as good as it was. It was fantastic, real surprise. And uh, yeah, this has made me want more. That's all I've got to say. These are only short stories. They're like. It's an hour-long audio book with three stories, so they're all about like 20 minutes or so. Yeah, definitely worth picking up if you can. The Lucas one is the highlight, though, but the Lucius one's pretty good as well. Yeah, all right.
Thanks everybody for watching and I will see you next time. Cheers.